Before I even arrive at the Oval Office, shortly after we win the presidency, we win. We're going to win it together. I will have the horrible war between Russia and Ukraine settled. We'll get it settled. Would have never happened. And when I was commander in chief, Iran was a weak, broke, and it was ready to make a deal. They were weak, they were broke, and ready to make a deal. Then Biden came in and surrendered everything, all of the, all of the things I did. You know, I told China, if you buy any oil from Iran, I told this to every country, practically every country, they're not selling oil. And now, under Biden, Iran is rich, powerful, and an instrument of terror that is spreading bloodshed all over the Middle East. You see what's happening. They had no money with me. Now they have $200 billion, and they control Iraq. Another great move going into Iraq. What a stupid move that was. Under my leadership, we will restore peace through strength. That's all you need, peace through strength. We rebuilt the entire military. Of course, we gave about $85 billion to, can you imagine? $85 billion they gave to Afghanistan. And uh, Afghanistan now, the Taliban, Afghanistan is just about one of the leading sellers of military equipment in the world. They don't need 700,000 rifles. They need 50,000 rifles, 20,000 rifles. We gave them 70,000 vehicles. Some of them, many of them armor-plated, costing hundreds of thousands of dollars each. But I am the only candidate who can make this promise to you. I will prevent World War III. I will prevent it. You're going to have World War III. The way it's going now, you are going to have World War III. And we're going to prevent it. I know all the players. Uh, you know, I was honored because a very, very tough man, Viktor Orban. Have you ever heard of him? He's the Prime Minister of Hungary. Right. Good. Prime Minister of Hungary. And uh, he's a... Uh, He's a tough man, strong man, very respected, knows everything there is to know about Ukraine. In fact, he's taken in tremendous numbers of Ukrainians, but he's a, I, th I happen to think he's a good man. The press goes crazy when I say it. But they asked him, what's the problem? The world is blowing up. What's the problem? What can we do about it? He said, the best single thing that you can do about it is get Trump to be the president of the United States again. When we had Trump, there were no problems. He used a word I don't like using because I can't save myself. He said, China feared him. Russia feared him. Everybody feared him. And we had no problems. And it's absolutely true. We had no problems. And now you look, everything's blowing up. It's war. Israel would have never been attacked. Ukraine would have never been attacked. China wouldn't be talking about, talking about going into Taiwan. I mean, they want to do it so badly. They get, they're trying to get it done because they have a weak man as president and we can't have a weak president we have a weak man who cheats like hell that's the only thing they're good at they cheat at elections like nobody's ever cheated before maybe third world countries but not i don't think a lot more but we're not going to let them cheat in 2024 everybody's watching and it's going to be very hard they're going to try they're going to try because that's their natural instinct and i will build an iron dome over our country, a state-of-the-art missile defense shield made in the USA. We do it for other countries. We help other countries. We build. We don't do it for ourselves. We need it, too. You know, Reagan proposed that many years ago, Star Wars. He, he proposed it many, many years ago, but at that time, there was no technology. It was just like it looked good. But we have unbelievable technology. We shoot them down. I've seen so many things. I've seen shots that you wouldn't even believe. Missile launched. Miss, they go, missile launched. And you hear a bell go. I mean, I see this. I like. I, it's so incredible. And these guys, these geniuses, they go. These are not muscle guys here. They're muscle guys up here, right? And they calmly walk to a seat. Ding, 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 ding. They've only got 17 seconds to figure this whole thing out, right? Boom. Okay. Missile launch. Pshin, boom. It's the most un. And we don't have it here, but we help other countries in having it. No, we're gonna have the greatest Iron Dome. Let's call it Iron Dome. Anywhere in the world. And it's going to be manufactured, a lot of it, right here in New Hampshire, actually, come to think of it. I will also defend our great veterans, and Al will tell you, nobody has ever defended, and he's tough, because, you know, I got to be careful with him. I might say it, and he said, I disagree with you. But nobody has ever defended the veterans like I have defended the veterans. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll be asking Congress immediately to build a full-service VA hospital in New Hampshire. 
that the veterans deserve. We're going to be pushing them. You know, you're the only state in the union that doesn't have a full service VA hospital. Do you know that, Al? So, I don't know. Again, your governor, that's number three on your governor. I think you got to get this guy out of here. Right. We're going to get it built, Al. We're going to get it built. He'll be after me to get it built. He doesn't he doesn't stop, I can tell you that. And he's a good and he's a good man too. I'll direct a completely overhauled